Do you have any tips? I, I see this debate all, all the time about um, like going back and forth between the tracks and no tracks. Do you have any tips for making it not sound like everything dropped out when you when the tracks stop and, and you're just yeah. using instruments on stage? Well, it all comes down to the sound guy. Like the, if, if you don't have a sound guy who understands that, then it's going to be, yeah, a nightmare. But if you have like, like our sound guys are so well trained now that they'll know to have certain instruments, you know, sitting just above the tracks or as loud as the track. So if the tracks do drop out, you're not feeling this big dip. And yeah. then also our sound guys will be watching the, the praise or worship leader. Um, so if they, cause the praise worship leader is the one who will, if we want to cut the tracks, I'll be like, I'll be like cut the tracks. And so if they, if they watch that, they'll start fading the tracks out before it cuts and bring other instruments up. So it's a really, you gotta be so attentive as, as that front of house guy or the, or the stream mix person um, to notice that. But yeah, like in terms of musicians, playing the parts that are on the tracks as well, um, even though like all the keyboard programming parts might be on the track, still good idea for the keyboard player to play that just in case the tracks drop out. It still sounds like, you know, relatively what it's meant to sound like. Um, but yeah, for me, that the answer to that question, it all comes down to the front of house guy, pulling mm. the right mix.